Hello, this is Linda Carruthers, and I come to you this morning, and I was thinking of what I wanted to do for a video today, and I know there's a lot of new crafters around, and so I thought that there might be, I mean, I know junk journals is very popular, but there's also the fabric journals, the lace journals, whatever you want to call them, uh, that are out there. And uh, so my idea was to show you how to uh, cut up the lace or the doilies or whatever you want to call it to uh, make your fabric books, to make your flowers, to make your trim for your journals and that sort of thing. This is an old uh, tablecloth. It's a crocheted tablecloth. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get it up there where you can see. And it's stained. It's uh done in squares so I thought I'd show you how to cut out these squares and you can make a like you can make a small you can make a, you can take two of them make a small book like so or you can use four of them and make a big one and I'm going to show you how to cut it uh, I know there's not that many videos out there, but there are some that shows you how to cut cut these uh, things up. But I haven't seen any lately, and I know we've got a lot of new crafters out there. So I thought I would come on and show you how I cut them up to make my supplies for the uh, journal covers, uh, the trim. See, this is the bottom. This is the trim. Uh, you can also cut this part off and be that that little trim. So I'm gonna show you how it's done on this uh, one here. Now it has stains and it has uh, holes in it and uh, stuff. So that is one reason why I don't mind cutting this one up. Now, if it was perfect and it didn't have any stains on it, or if it didn't have any holes in it, I probably would have a hard time cutting. But now, uh, this one ha does have holes in it. And the thing is, I went ahead and cut this part because I didn't want to leave... Uh, let y'all have, it'd be too long of, of a video showing, but I'll show you on this piece right here. See, you see the holes right here? Now we're going to cut it, we're going to cut it, separate it right here, where these, right there is where we're going to cut it. Okay, so I'll show you, we just, we're going to just take a few. I just take my scissors, and these may not be the right scissors to cut it with, but you take your fabric scissors, or whatever scissors you got, and right at the moment these are the ones I got, and you just cut it. You want to cut it so that you get to keep each section. You don't want to break that section. You don't want to break this section. Right there. You want to keep that hole. So you do like that. You snap. So anyway, that's how you would do it all the way around. Now, I want to separate this into a section of four. There's one, two, three, four flowers. And there's one, two, three, four squares. So I want to cut that into four squares. So I'm going to take my scissors and right here, I'm going to clip that one, and you see, you see this line right here, 
I'm not sure whether you can see it or not. You see that line right there? See how that line goes all the way straight, all the way down? Right there. Right there. Okay. That's where we want to cut. So we want to, and I'm going to start here since I'm right-handed. I'm going to start back here. So we're going to take, and we're going to cut. I'm going to keep cutting. And we're going to cut it straight. Following that line. Now, see we've, we've got this piece straight. And we got this piece straight. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it is straight. I don't know what they did here, but they, they got it crooked somehow. They made it crooked. But anyway, we'll straighten that up later. Okay, now we're going to start back here at the front of this one. And we're going to go down that same line. Now, so we got this side done. We got this side done. And we got this side done. So all we got left is to get this one side. So now we want to come down here. And there's another line, and I don't know whether you can see it or not, but you can see that line right there. We're going to cut down that line. And like I said, I'm going to start down here. Let's see where that line is. Okay, so now we have this piece. So now we have a piece that we can take and we can fold it. And we can have a journal page like that. It's a long and narrow one. Or we can fold it this way. And it's still long and narrow, but it's not as long and narrow as other way for some reason. Now we can take this and cut it in half and have two small journals like so. Or we can have a, a whole book right there and just cut. What we could do is cut here this line and we'd have four pages instead of uh, two pages like this. This would be two pages. Okay, or we could say four. If you counted the front and the back, it'd be four, four pages. But now, if you folded it again, made a small journal, you would either have four pages or you'd have eight pages. Whichever way you counted, because there'd be one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Now, if you wanted to just count it, uh, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. That's what I was talking about when I say four and eight. Now, let's say that you just want to get the blue doilies out of here. So we're going to leave this one like it is. 
and we'll come up here and I'm going to cut this one square out let me get these right here this is how I started I just went come over here and I got to clipping cutting these pieces here Now, I'm going to cut this one piece out here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut this whole thing out. I'm going to cut the, the uh, doilies out in a minute. Now, all we got to do is cut this line here, which is what we're going to do. We're going to start down here. Sorry, I'm trying to show you what I'm doing, but it's kind of hard. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's move this out of the way. I'm going to try to show you. All right, we got these two pieces, which would make a page in a journal. But now we want to cut the, the blue flower out of there. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to leave them like they are, but I'm going to cut the blue flowers out because then you still have a page and you can still put something on the front of it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to cut the blue flower out. So we're going to start right here. And we're just going to snip the white, not the blue. And once we got it snipped, we're going to snip all the way around. Now, I'm hoping you can see. I'm not sure whether you can or not. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. Now we just, I'm sorry, I'm not talking, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing here, keep snipping the blue. But you can do this to any of the old uh, pieces that you might come across, or that you might have, or... Whatever, you know, to make your flowers, uh, to make your fabric books, to make your trim for your journals and stuff. You invest in one big piece 
and you can have several uh, projects in one big piece. Now, I got the blue flower, but you see there's white trim around it. You can keep that white as trim, and it'd be a blue flower with a little bit of white around it, or you can take the white out by just pulling it Pulling the white pieces out. You might be better off with a pair of tweezers, but I don't have a pair of tweezers. You may have to snip a piece to get it out. But you try not to take the blue out. Try not to cut the blue. See, you want to keep the blue because see there, there's your ruffle on your flowers. Anyway, and you just keep doing that till you get it all off. But anyway, that's what it's going to look like right there. Let's see if I can get that one piece of white off of it. Yep. Alright, that's what your blue flower is going to look like. Okay. And then you got you got your blue doily that you can dress up as a flower. Okay. It just takes a little while. And you got to be patient with it. But anyway, you could have um, quite a few of these blue doilies. Then your book is going to have a hole in it, right like this. See, it's got that. And you go, well, what can I do with that? That's garbage. No. You got a book. You fold it. And then you can put uh, a doily flower over that. You can put pictures. Let's see. Um. Mm. Oh, um. Take this. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. This is a piece of fabric that I have. It was a handkerchief. So you can put it on the inside like so, and then decorate around it. You can put uh, it on the outside. Uh, you can put it over a journal page. Let's see, there's a little tooth fairy, and decorate it. Like so. You can put your pictures of if you got ladies or flowers or birds or whatever. You can put it on the front here and cover it and decorate it. And uh, so that's how you can get your doilies out of your uh, old worn out uh Crochet tablecloths and stuff like that. Okay, so that's that one. Now, I wanted to show you. I'm going to cut this. All right. I'll show you how to get this trim off. Let me do that first of all. I think we done showed you that, but we'll show it again. You just cut the 
See where these two big holes are? You're going to trim this. But now you want to keep them if you don't want to cut this hole here. You want to cut right below that hole. Because that way you got uh, pointed ends on one end and holes on the other so that you can uh, put some danglies if you want to. Your danglies would be like uh, things that are, are uh, like your pearls and your uh, uh, beads and things that you want to hang from your uh, journal. You want to put them in those holes. I'm trying to get this piece. Yeah. Uh, see, that was a hole that was in there. Already in there. Okay. Now. Alright, we're going to start right here. Alright. Well, we need to go on down here to the square. So we'll go on down to the square. And then I'll show you. Okay, now I got down to this square, and you see here at the end, this is the corner. So that's the corner. Let me show you. See that's the corner? Alright, now, see there's a hole there too. Okay, you see this piece right here? This is a square right there. Like that, that piece. It's a square. So we're going to disconnect this, this here, from that, right there. Uh, we're going to cut it as straight as possible. First of all, we got to get that one snap. Alright, now, we're going to get that as straight as possible. Now, we got this piece. Alright, let me see. Cut that on down. Now, this piece, see here we got this trim. Alright, we're going to cut this trim off. Somebody's already cut some of it off. So we're going to cut it off. So we're going to still stick with them holes like what I was talking about a while ago. And Now we could have left this trim on, we could leave it on like this, and put it as a trim, and on your edge of your books and things like that, you know, like on the edge of this, we'll use this one here, on the edge you could have put it as a pocket and a trim, see it could go like that, as a pocket and a trim on your book and that be you that right there is what you call your dangles what do you think or you can we can make this your pocket that can be a pocket and then you can put some other trim on there to make a trim all right you can also take this trim that was connected to this. You can see here. Let me. I'm gonna show you the front. See those? Uh, I guess it's flowers or 
decorations there. Okay, so we're going to put that to the edge here of our journal, like so. Now we could also take these and we could make them go around up here. To make a uh, trim around your design, whatever your design is, such as so. I'm trying to get it where you can see it, like so, and it, to be underneath your design. Uh, you can take these off one at a time and. I'll go ahead and do that. Cut one more off. Cut more than one off. Okay, let me get five of them. Now, we'll take these five. Now, um, I'm going to use this blue flower that we, uh, well, here, I'll use this thing here. Uh, this is the one we cut it out of. Okay, so we're going to make this blue flower different. We're going to put this petal down there. We're going to put this one overlapping. And we're going to put this one overlapping. Let's make it overlap a little bit. Make this up there. We'll put it under there. That's the worst one, so we'll put it cover that. See? And then we'll put this one like let's put this one in there just a little bit. Now, see that looks like petals. It gives you some more layer. It's called layering. And see there? Now you took this ordinary doily from like this and turned it into like this. Now you're going to, of course, you're going to either sew it or glue it, whichever is your preference. Whatever you prefer. I prefer gluing because it's a lot easier and a lot faster. And uh, then you can put whatever you like on top of that. Now you see how you did it? And I used all the pieces out of this um, table. Um, crochet tablecloth. Put it that way. Okay, so now that's that, and that's one of those. Now, let's see. We went over uh, how to make the book. Yep. We went over um, the trim, we went over the trim here, how to get this off, how to separate it, make that. Okay, this little square that was over here. Okay, see, now this one is over here. Let me get to that one I was at, because that's the one I want to use. But this, this is what the corner is supposed to look like. Okay. And what you would do is you would cut your trim all the way around, cut this one and cut that one off, and you'd have this square. So we're going to get this square right here. 
And even though it looks wrong to you, you say, well, you know, I can't use it. Yes, you can. Because you can do, let's get the square off, and I'll show you what you can do. Get the square. So you're just going to cut it. Okay. Now, we have this square. Yeah, don't look too hot right now, but you can take, if you're going to sew, you can sew that together and close it in, and you'd have a square. Not a perfect square, but you still have a square. Okay, and you can use it to put on whatever you want to. But now, we got this here little book that we've been working on. And we got this beautiful flower that we have made. But, you know, it's missing something in the center. We need to put something in the center. Let me show you what you can do with the square. Did you notice that there's four circles in the square? There's one here, one here, one here, and one there. Okay. So we're going to take them. Since this one's already cut. Let me get this thing out. Since this thing's already cut, we're going to cut it. into four pieces. Okay. Now. Now we could take these four pieces and we could say, okay, we're going to use them just like they are. And you could. But we want to trim this thing so we can get that circle because we're going to put this white circle in the middle of our flower. We're going to cut around it. And you want to just cut so that, that you don't cut the flower itself, but that you cut the little whole snippets, little spots. These little um. I'm trying to show you, but my finger is too big. See right there, those three little holes right there? That's what you want to cut. You want to cut that all the way around. Now, hmm. okay. I don't know what she did there, but anyway, let me see. That one's a little on the malformed side, so let me see if I can find another one that's not quite so messed up. Okay, here's one. Now there's a better one. All right, so now we're going to take, here's our journal top page. Here's our flower we made. And that's messing up. Hold on. Get it back together like we had it. Oh. I knew it was missing something. Okay. Now, I'm going to put our blue flower in there. Now, we take our white piece and we layer it right there. We'll make sure we got the right side now. We don't want the wrong side. 
you know, I don't guess it matters which. Hopefully you can tell which is what. Okay. Now, we have got our flower. Now, if we also want to put something in the middle there, we can. You can put a button, you can put a pearl, a bead, whatever you might have. I have this little um, cross here that I got off of a, a bracelet. And so you could do it like that. Let me straighten it out there. And you could do it like that. Alright. So now that would be a page. And you got four more pages that you can do. Well, I'll put it this way since the book opens that way. So, so you got four more pages you can do there. So this is what they call layering. Your and so that's what you want to do. Now you want to make sure you do something on the back here, on the back of this section. And you may want to put a piece of paper or a piece of uh, cardstock or something to give it some strength to hold it. Okay, since it's been cut. But otherwise, that's what you could do with this. And uh, you can make your, like I said, you can make out of this tablet, we can make this book as big and wide as we want to. Okay? Now, also on this thing, this tablecloth, see here you got this big old round piece right here. And we can cut that and so you got you can have diamond shape or you can have square shapes, which is but this here piece right here we can cut it out and make a book. Only it would be a curved book. And you got another one right here. So it just depends on what you want to do. And then you got these uh see on here you got you got this section. See? You got you can cut right here. All right, you can cut right here. You can, you can even cut if you want to. You can cut right here. You could have uh, a trim here. This could be a trim because you can cut here. You can cut here, and that would make this a trim. You can cut here. And that would be a little skinny trim right there. Then you got all of this. Whoops. All the way he to here. All of this in here in the middle. That you can use. Uh, either as a trim or a pocket or whatever. You can take and cut these out and have a little mini doily. Okay. Over here you got... The same thing, you got the little skinny trim. You got some trim here. Then you got your flowers, your doilies. Let me show you how to do those. Now, in the middle here, you got these squares. Now, these squares can be squares. You can cut them out as squares. Or you can cut them out as di diamond shapes. Make them diamond shapes. Uh, you have the big round section, which is what I was showing. See his, and we can cut out and use. You can cut this out all together and make that a uh, a book. And um, let's see. All right, we'll we'll cut it. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll cut right here.
What are y'all doing? Why are y'all decided to bark in now? Ellie, why are you barking now? Now, when you get here, then you got this little netting section where it separates. So we're going to cut that. Now, let's get this piece out of here. Okay, so we want to cut the blue raw of this. So we're going to cut. Instead of cutting the, the white, we're going to cut the blue this time because we're using the white. And we'll just take the blue out. All right, so now we want to come over here and separate it. You can see where to separate. And you're going to see here, you got this big wide hole there. Well, that's where we're going to cut. Cut all the way around it. And sometimes you may not be able to see it. If you just kind of stretch it just a little bit, you'll see where to cut. See, that's better. Now, see, this is where the two came together. So, you got these little snags here. And then, when you cut it straight, it'll be like this. All right. That's why you can pull it a little bit and you can see where to cut. And we're about finished here. We're just now, see you've got this piece. Now this piece you can put like on a table or whatever you like. Let me get this out of the way. So you can see. You got this piece that you can put on a table. On your end tables. And use if it's not messed up or anything. See? Or you can take it. If you want to use it for your journals or whatever, you can take and fold it and make a page for your journal or make a covering for your journal. Okay? And I know you're saying, well, that looks a little long, but by the time you get your journal done and all your pages in there, this would make an excellent cover because it'll cover everything. Also, if it's a little too long, you can take, bring your one side up to where it looks square, or it might be square. I don't know if that's square or not, but we'll see. Then you can take the other side and fold it in, like so. And you can make a, a little bag 
you make an envelop. And then decorate it however you please. Or you can make it a journal where you get this is the side that opens up. Okay. I think that's all of the pieces that's on here, the different pieces. And I think we've went through just about all of them. And uh, we didn't go through the blue square, but that's all right. We, I think y'all know how to cut a square out. That's square. You can use it for a ball. Uh, you can use it for the... Uh, a pocket, uh, on your journal, or whatever you like. Okay? Well, I hope I've, I've been able to teach you something. Uh, I may not been the best, but anyway, uh, I hope you learned something on how to cut your, uh, get your doilies and your, uh, trim the stuff out of your uh, worn out tablecloths and stuff. You can do this not just with tablecloths but with curtains with uh, <coughs> all those little um, table things and stuff like that. Uh, so y'all have a good day, a blessed day. Comment down below if uh, you have any comments to make? Uh, hopefully they're good. Uh, you can like, like, and uh, hope y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. God bless you.